In this video, we will go over logging in and basic navigation of your Service CEO account. To begin, go to the Service CEO website. You will find the link to our login page in the top right hand corner where it says Login. On the login page, you can enter your login email as well as your password. If you forget your password or you need to reset it at any time, you can always click on the Forgot Your Password link. This will send an email to your email login, giving you a temporary password which you can use to log on with. If you do run into any issues, keep in mind that you do have access to our live chat support team as well as their support team phone number. From here, click Submit. You will notice at the top you still have access to our support team as well as a support link to put in support tickets. Keep in mind that our support team is available during regular business hours Monday through Friday 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. You will also find the feedback button on the top right hand corner. This will bring you to a feedback form where you can put in suggestions for new features or make comments and vote on other features that you would like to see. You will notice that each login gets up to 10 votes and those votes will be returned to you as we put a fill in requests for these features. You will also notice once you're logged in that you have landed on the Home tab here. In the Home tab, you will find our new section where we talk about new releases and any upcoming events. If you go over to your Getting Started tab, you will see that you can access our daily live Q&A session, which happens every afternoon. You will also have access to all the training videos, which are broken down into chapters, um, just like the video that you are watching right now. To the right hand side, you will see links for our quick setup. This will bring you over to areas in the settings where you can begin filling out your company information and other items to get your account set up. Moving along, you can see access to all the other main tabs on the top. Some of the more important ones, you'll see the dispatch board being your schedule for all the jobs that you have upcoming. If you have an account that includes the customer portal, you can see any requests for services. Other upgrades to your account may include sections that include estimates. In your work orders tab, this is where you will be able to see all the work orders you have scheduled for your customers. Some key features that you will see in here, you will notice that you have a search toolbar to search through all the list of items that are being displayed. You will also have the ability to use customized views, which can narrow down the list that is being displayed. Anywhere you see a green plus sign, for example here where it says add job, this allows you to add a new entry into the list. You also have the ability to check off certain work orders, or in this case, I can select all that I see in a view, select all items that are in this entire list, which I've got 341 work orders, or I'm just going to select none here to deselect them all. Okay. If you do have a couple selected, you can also come to your common actions. This is also a common toolbar that you'll see throughout a bunch of the tabs. And from here, I will have options, for example, to print, or in this case, I can reopen and close a bunch of work orders at once. Um, you will also see to the far right hand corner, it shows that I'm displaying 10 results at a time. And this is out of my total of 341 work orders that I'm viewing right now. So you do have a next and last button here to flip to the next set of results. Coming back to my first page of results, anywhere that you see blue links, this allows you to go into what we call a view mode to view the work order. Anywhere that you see a pencil and pad icon, this will automatically put you into an edit mode to edit that entry. Okay. 
You will also notice on the top right hand corner you do have what we call a recent drop down. This will allow you to go back to pages that you were recently on. Okay. Moving forward to some other tabs, if I go over to accounting, this is where you can view your invoices and payments. And your customers tab allows you to keep track of your entire customers database. Your reports tab allows you to create reports based on all the information that you have input into your service CEO account. And finally, your settings tab, which allows you to configure and customize your service CEO account to match your company. For example, this is where you can fill in your company information, including your company address and logo. You will also notice on the top, along with your recent drop down here, we have what we call a breadcrumbs trail feature, um, which provides links to previous pages that you were just visiting. So for example here, I can go back to my service CEO settings page. This concludes our video on how to log in and basic navigation of your service CEO account. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact your customer success coach or contact our support team.